We're live, guys, and um, today we're going to be talking. We're going to be playing the game, of course. We're also going to be talking about uh, a YouTuber, a guy that was, um, well, he was a little weird and a little um, bipolar, I would want to say bipolar. That's what I think of him as. He probably doesn't have that, or he probably doesn't want probably hasn't gone to the doctor to see what he has but that's what I believe that he might have and this guy's name is Matthias Peterson and um, I'm gonna say some good things about him I'm not gonna say all bad right I'm not a person that only says the bad things to get the drama views now this ain't no drama shit I'm just bringing this out here because you know there deserves to be a little bit of a biography on Matthias Peterson and why not kind of talk about it a bit, right? Since his channel's gone for the third time. But, um... So yeah, so... I met Matthias Peterson. I want to say... It was in... Like, 2018, 2019. Around there. I think it was like... Late, or... Late 2018, I met him. In a in a party with my friend Hunter and then I ended up um, talking to him while I was in the party we all played Battlefront 2 together I think I was live streaming that day I don't know where that live stream is it is probably long gone but um, I met him and some other guy I forget who he was I might have to ask Hunter about that because I totally fucking forget you know me oh shit we sold something but um yeah, I met him. We were playing Battlefront. He said he played Ark. I was like, cool. And uh, about a, I think about a year later, yeah, I ended up um, adding him as a friend. We played a little bit, and I got to know him a little bit. He seemed like a really nice guy, and he is—he is a nice guy. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> He's a very nice guy. But um, he was just. <laughs> A little weird he would make lies about people and try to make you think that all these people he would try to like tell you that all oh, these people are bad you know like they they've done bad things to me and I'm like okay it's like and I can't talk to them because they've blocked me could you talk to them for me and I was like okay and first guy I told me about was that random dude <laughs> You know, me and him are good friends. That random dude, me and him are really good friends, right? We played Battlefront 2 together a lot. We played Minecraft, I think, a few times. We've played... I think those are the only games we really played, but we were still really good friends. We played Heroes vs. Villains together a lot. I did a lot of live streams with him. Go check him out. And, um... Well... It, get, it, it gets good, and it gets bad. The main thing, though, is that, like, he told me he was bad, I went and I, uh, ended up talk texting him on a comment on his video, and I said, hey, why are you messing with Matthias, please don't mess with him, please, I don't want, I don't want to have to get involved. And then he, on his live stream one day, he came on my live stream and told me that it was Matthias' fault, and I didn't want to believe him. I didn't want to believe him that Matthias was doing stuff because I didn't, I saw Matthias as a guy that was just the victim and not the uh, not the um the person at fault he told me about another person then which was uninspired crow I mean, I'm not gonna get behind that guy's background I'll do, I'll do a separate live stream for that completely <laughs> different but um yeah he told me about him and that he was also make, being rude to him. And I was like, okay. So I went on his live stream and he, Uninspired Crow, seemed like a really chill guy. He's like, Ran then he, he told me about a guy named Blaster Shot and Ginger Ninja. Oh, man, it, it, it got a lot of drama with like those couple months, right? And uh, eventually we ended up settling everything with them. But he made me believe the Uninspired Crow, Blaster Shot, that random dude, Ginger Ninja, were all bad people, and that he did nothing wrong to them. N nothing at all that was wrong that he did to them. And, uh, 
you know, and then I ended up realizing they showed me proof of what he was doing. And I was like, and I told Matthias, I tried to confront him about it, and he tried lying to me about it. And I'm like, dude, don't lie to me. All right? It's like, I'm not going to be so mad. I'm not going to be as mad if you tell the truth to me. But if you lie to me, you know, I'm not going to want to be your friend no more because I can't trust you. I don't know if I could trust him, if I could trust you, if you're going to lie to me like this and not tell me the truth about what's really going on. And it, it was horrible, man. It got to the point to where, like, I started doubting what he would tell me. I mean, I, I mean, I'd be like, okay, okay, cool, yeah, I believe you. But deep down inside, I didn't believe him. I just said that to make him think that I believe him, so we had somebody on his side. But of course, I wasn't gonna leave his side. I wasn't gonna betray him. But I wanted to get a viewpoint from some other people, and I did. And whatnot, right? I got a lot of views on it. From, not from like on my shit and on my views but views from people I asked people about like what he was doing in the shadows and also a few you know months later he tells me oh there's a guy named TG Epic TG Epic whatever and I'm like oh boy someone else I went to the live stream and I talked to him or I typed in chat I'm like hey please leave Matthias alone and I thought, honestly, I thought Epic was, like, just the, the, a piece of shit for the longest time. But he, he isn't. He's really cool and chill. So. But, you know. And I got into a lot of fights with them. And then I ended up coming to terms with them. I was neutral ground with them. I wasn't going to do nothing against them. I wasn't going to neutral ground with both sides. And uh, it got pretty bad. Because then at some point, one, I think it was last summer. When I was uh, when I was spending the, the the summer or the month and my mom's here. Well, right now I'm living here now, but I spent like the month a month or two here, and I was on Discord and he ended up um doing shit. Somebody I was like, hey, that's what are you doing, right? Why are you doing this stuff? And then he ended up doing stuff to my channel. You guys, you guys don't recall I made several videos and they're still up. Some I did delete, but most of them I still have. But he did a lot of shit. He was using random accounts. He even used a couple of my faces from my videos, my face things I was doing, as a way to try to make it look like it was me attacking myself. It was so stupid, honestly. He could have done a lot better. But um, I, I get in front of him. He said, "It's not me. It's somebody else." And I'm like, "Uh huh." I'm like, yeah, right. Whatever, dude. I'm not gonna put up with it. So uh. I got to the point where I was like, dude, I'm not going to be your friend no more. I can't. And he got pissed off. Went off of me on uh, Discord. Quite fun, to be honest. That'd be a little too much fun. And, dude, it, it, it was... I, I was upset with them. And man, I forget all of that shit. I forget a lot about the shit, but it's all coming back to me. It just slowly is. I've just forgotten about it. But he ended up doing shit to me for a couple of months. And we got we ended up becoming cool, right? And then he started up his shit again on my channel when we were cool. And then he denied it and he ended up saying, he ended up telling me, he was like, look here, uh, uh, Beijing. At the time my na channel name was Beijing TDM. A horrible fucking name. You know, and I learned from my mistake on that. But he he was like, "Look here, Beijing. I'm not. If, if anything ever happens on your channel again, so it's not me. I delete all my accounts." And I was like, "I want you to prove it to me that you've deleted all of your accounts." And he only he showed me was his uh his account list right there on YouTube. You gotta remember that when you get rid of an account, you don't ever fully get rid of it. You just delete it off that list. But you can always get it back if you sign in with that account. So I knew he never deleted any of his accounts, and he had like 50 alt accounts of random names and random everything. You know, and dude, it, it was fucking bad. All right, like I, like honestly, I thought I had a lot of accounts on like this game and on my other games. Fuck no, he had a lot on YouTube. He had like I had a few alt accounts on my YouTube, but I never used them for anything bad. I used them just for. I used them because I wanted to use those as other channels for content, but I never got a chance to do it. 
And then he ended up attacking me a couple more times with those, and of course he thought it would get to me. It doesn't get to me. Alt accounts don't do shit to me, besides give me content to put on my channel and to rat them out, you know. And he was doing it to freaking Epic, and Epic made videos on him, made rap, made this on him, which were, you know, I, I don't, I don't like him, but and plus he knows I don't like him. It's just, you know, he just does them because, you know, it's funny and it's cringe and it's hilarious because it pushes against my thighs, right? But, um, yeah, it, it was, it was bad, man. He was honestly turning into just, like, evil, pure evil. And then Uninspired Close started, tried to start shit with him and Blaster shot at me and, dude, Uninspired Crow. That's another live stream topic we gotta get on about, you know, there were some good things about him, but he was bipolar for sure. He had bi- he was something like that. Because, oh my god. He seemed so nice, but deep down inside, he had a rage building up in there. From something. There was like some type of rage building up with him, and... Yeah. His closest friend, which was Blaster Shot, he ended up freaking just being like a piece of shit to him and just ruining a friendship you know and oh my god dude they got it was bad i felt bad for blaster shot Blaster shot tried to help him so much and the only thing crow could do was just be a piece of shit and do stupid shit you know and make terrible videos on matthias and say awful disturbing things now matthias said disturbing things too though to fucking uh to that random dude and Crow, he ended up saying that well, why don't you two have your little uh, suicide patch together, you know, and that's where I kind of flipped, I was like, whoa bro you shouldn't be saying that and uh, yeah, it, it, it got pretty good let's put it that way but um, yeah, I kind of I think Matthias had a bipolarism had, had, had bipolar was bipolar, I don't know how, how to say it, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, but Crow had bipo was bipolar for sure. He had shit built up in him. Like, from his family, from his past, man. He was just building up. He was bottling up. I could tell. And then, um, you know, I thought, and then when, like, when this election happened here, he ended up being cool with me, and oh, I wasn't cool with him, but Epic was. I told Epic, I was like, dude, don't trust him. Don't let him into TG, man. Don't do it. You know, I was like, he's he back to the same old shit. He's like, no, I think he's changed. And, and he's like, and he's like, but I'll keep that in mind. He's like, you might be right. A couple months later, when the election happened between Biden and Trump, Matthias goes out at his shit again. He he can't take he like he could he was saying things and people were saying that Trump might be able to win and he would not take their opinions at all into consideration. He wouldn't like, he wouldn't even. Like, like accept their opinions he was oh my god he was he, he he was a fucking soy boy a fucking soy boy that's what he got in was uh, let me tell you something dude like you couldn't say you couldn't have any opinion without him getting pissed off at you it was awful and he ended up doing some terrible shit bro terrible shit on YouTube and, and he ended up getting his uh, channel banned, his first channel, which had like almost a thousand subscribers because he was using like multiple, um, what's the right word? Well, I want, I mean, it's alt accounts, but I want to say something like, uh, he was using bot accounts where, I mean, like, they were his alt accounts, but he was using them to sub to himself. And YouTube found out that it was himself making these same accounts and selling to himself. And the algorithm was catching on to that. And it banned his fucking channel completely. He made a new one. And he got banned, I think, a couple months ago. Which was hilarious. And yeah, it's fucking funny as can be. Now, I haven't talked to Blaster Shot in a while. Because I think he's been busy with school. And... I haven't talked to Ginger Ninja in a while. He ended up unfriending me because I'm getting, we, he, he told me it was because we never play as much. I was like, okay, whatever. I don't care. I've got no beef with any of them right now. E Epic's, I'm chill with. I haven't talked to Epic in a long time, though. Probably talked to him in a party somewhere. I might do a Force Series with him if he wants to do it. I could do it on, uh, do it on my save or some shit. And I wouldn't mind doing one with him on his own save, you know. 
it's just crazy. All these YouTubers I've been I haven't been in touch with in a long time, and about a, a couple about a little more than a few months, you know. So I'm hoping that I can get in touch with some of them, even maybe do a collab, even get like a few teams going for like Battlefront, well not Battlefront, but maybe the new Battlefield. I know that um, I'm pretty sure that Epic bought Battlefield 2042. I hope he did. That would be dope if he did. Me and him could play for a bit, get a few other of his friends in there. Could all chill, we could talk some shit about Matthias or something. Cause honestly, me talk, us talking shit about him is not being rude. Him just doing shit on our in our comment section of our videos and live streams, commenting awful things, and then soon like texting things with alt accounts on Instagram. Oh, that's I'm not getting into that, guys. That's too much. But he would just get alt accounts on Instagram and text you and try to apologize, and then. Say oh, how almost everything was your fault. Not none of, none of it was really his, but he. Oh my God, I was about ready to fucking break my phone. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna put up with that shit. It's that's just not what I want to hear. I want to hear him admit to what he's fucking done, not try to call me out for what I've done. I'll admit to what I've done after he's admit to what he's done, and he would never do that. To what I've done, and he still doesn't admit. About what he's done to people and what he's done to me, and 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 he said some things that I don't I don't even want to say because it's too dark. But yeah, that's basically Matthias Peterson. I mean, he was nice. He 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 was a good guy, but he was um, a real tricky character, to say the least. And he said, "Oh, I have autism not, and everything." So and I'm like, "But that doesn't mean that you have to be rude." Matter of fact, he just, I'm not saying autism is like terrible or it's stupid or people who have autism, I'm not saying that. I've got a few friends that are autistic and they're pretty fucking smart and they're really awesome. You know, and uh, it just pisses me off that he tries to use, use, use his autism as an excuse to get away with shit, which no. He's able to control himself. Well, Dylan Reed, what up, bro? Welcome to the live stream. But Matthias was just a weird fucking person, man. He was... He was hard to kind of read, you know? Like, to kind of... Like, his, like his character was hard to kind of configure. Until the end there. And then he lost his channel, both his channels. And now he's no longer doing shit. I'm guessing that he's probably... Somewhere in Denmark, in Denmark, freaking sucking somebody's dick. Who knows what? Probably still freaking sleeping in 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 his dad's bed with his dad. <laughs> he says, "Oh, I just said that to inspire crow for," so so he pitied me, and I'm like, "Yeah, right," you know. But man, I mean, he was a cool guy, but he was also a piece of shit. Oh, dude, I have not, but I am looking forward to that. I might, I might post the reveal, the new trailer on my, um, my channel here. I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to download it online. I'm going to post it on my channel here too, so that people can watch it. May, uh, 2020, man. May 20, I think it's May 20th, 2022. I mean, 2022, not 2020. I'm an idiot, but, uh, it's going to be dope. I can't wait for it to come out. Even if it don't come out for a console, I'm going to watch YouTubers play it, man. But, uh, it's going to be dope. And I do like how they kept the, the sounds of the cannibals in that. That's good. They kept the ones from the original game of the Scrawnies. That's cool. I like that. It was amazing. Because the Scrawnies had the, um... The funny fucking noises, and they have them in a new game, which I I love it, man. It's great. I like how they kept the original noises in it, or the uh, the sound effects of the cannibals. It's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait. We see like the electric pride. We even see a full inventory of items of that's all in the game. I just can't wait. It's gonna be dope. I'm so excited, dude. I really am. Like, I wish I could make a time machine going to the future and 
get the game on a PC and just play it for like hours and then come back into the present here and just, you know, I wish I could do that, but unfortunately it's not the future and I doubt we'll ever be able to make a time machine. It's impossible. But, uh, dude, it's, uh, it's going to be cool. That, that game's got a lot of potential. But I still think that the first game will always be my favorite game. I'm sorry, it's always going to be like my all-time favorite game. The best game ever made is the first one, for sure. But the second one still has potential to be right beneath it. Or even right beside it. I can't wait. I've also got another story about Matthias Peterson, too, that uh, I want to share sometime later, or even right now really quick. It's kind of funny. Now, it's more about me and what I was doing. So, I ended up making a fake account, right? And now, I didn't use it to diss on him or to say rude things on his channel. I used it, actually, as a way to kind of uh, make him think that I was, uh, like, so I, I made a user named Hunter Kingsley, right? And dude, it, it's fucking funny, right? And I ended up joining his live stream one time. Alright. And 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 then, I, and then I was like, Hey, Matthias, I, I'm, I, I, I'm new. And I just want to say, I, I watch a few live streams and everything. And I like the content and everything. And I, and I subscribe. It's like, oh, welcome, Hunter. Welcome, Hunter. Like the way you fucking talk was so stupid, right? <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, once in a while I pop in with that account, and then one time I mentioned, I was like, hey, I've been seeing a lot of uh, videos about people being rude to you. I hope, you know, those, I hope that you're doing all right. I mean, those people are kind of rude. He's like, yeah, I don't want to talk about it, though. And I was like, I, yeah, I even mentioned my channel name on that account and a few other channel names. And then he was like, I think he got suspicious that I was somebody, one of those people, or, or even my, or that was even me. So, but, uh, I don't think he knows it was me until now or whenever I said it, so. I was kind of laughing, though, man. Holy hell. I was just laughing a bit at that because I couldn't believe that he didn't realize that shit. That I, I was me right there in plain sight. Being, like, cheeky, you know, and just pretending to be his friend. I ended up freaking, uh. I ended up unsubscribing with that account, so, and plus he lost his main channel anyway, so it was kind of fucking hilarious. But yeah, I cannot wait until a new game comes out. But uh, I'm going to eat some Oreos really quick. I have nothing to eat today at all, and I, just got, I got off of work like an hour ago. I need something to fucking eat.
Congratulations, Admiral. Starfleet Command has commissioned another historical tactical simulation, and they'd like you to evaluate it as soon as possible. Jaula and her agents were a force to be reckoned with during the war, and were a direct influence on a number of critical events that took place there. This simulation will put you in the midst of one such event. I look forward to seeing your results.
Alright. So. We are going to be doing the discovery shit for a bit. On this account, because we can. Buran should have what's his name on it. This is Commander Ellen Landry of the USS Buran. Welcome to Prior. The captain has requested that you transport over to the Buran to speak in person. Truth be told, we're not certain our hailing frequencies are completely secure. It's um, it's a long story. Let's just say the Klingons had a few tricks. Oh boy. We're gonna have to fight Klingons on this ship. I, I already know. I remember this. <clears throat> nice to finally meet you face to face. I'm Captain Gabriel Walker. Welcome to the Baran. This is my first officer, Commander Ellen Landry. Sorry to hear about Captain Schaefer. He was one of our best. Agreed. And fine captain. Though from what we've heard about what happened in Corvan, he shits in good hands. Ah, and my somewhat tardy chief of security on the propel. Uh, apologies, Captain. Welcome aboard. We appreciate the assistance. Engineering this way, if you follow me. What took you so long? Ah, <sighs> you tried booking a reception hall to a prime wedding season. I'm looking for my warrior, braver than a hundred Klingons. Ah. We've been mopping up here after our scrap with the Klingons. The Klingons did not surrender prior to this flight. Cleaning up the planet-based missile launchers was satisfying. The Baran is currently holding some Klingon prisoners of war. Prisoners we plan to deliver to a secure location before we ran into a snag. Lieutenant Kerwin, I have someone I'd like you to meet. Welcome aboard. Thanks for letting us in. Mind taking a look at something here? I'm analyzing some issues with the Baran's computer systems. A fresh perspective on them. Somehow the Klingons infected our computer systems with a particular... Uh, the virus has really dug into our tactical systems. Don't do two three what? Oh fuck. Oh, it seems easy. If the virus tries to lock out a weapon, it should still work. Get a bridge. I'm on my way. Captain, internal sensors show multiple Klingon transporter signals in your vicinity. All hands, repel borders.
Work at a bridge. We need those shields back. Do what you can to keep our port side away from the Klingons. Kerwin, I want you to head up there and give them a hand. No, I think it's time we went on the offensive. Chief, get us to the armory. On it. You have wounded on deck 17. We're on our way, Captain. Take one of these phaser rifles. We just finished modifications on them from data we gathered during the prior trip. Bridge to Captain. Look at a bridge. My inventory is way too full. Lost you there. Fortunately, the captain had other ideas. Bridge to captain. Shuttle the air is full locked, and the hangar doors are starting to open. That damn cling on virus again. Bridge, this is the captain. Prepare the tractor beam. This will fail. Door systems. I'll handle this. Bam! Got it! Oh, fuck, Cleons! <gasps> Hello? Cripple? Hello? 
Hello? Fucking retard. Hey, how's it going? Me. Poopy. Uh, why? Cause I pooped? I don't know. Oh. I'm kidding. I didn't poop. I did early when I got home, but fuck you. Shit, dude. Now where the fuck do we go? Speak to Captain Lorca. Fucking bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> Lorca more, more like Orca fucking Borka Slorka my fucking Gorka. Oh, I wanna board the fucking shuttle, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. God damn it. I fucking hate Star Trek sometimes. What?